Chapter 11 Mr. Fogg Misses the Ship In the evening, Phileas didn't worry about his missing servant. He stayed quiet in the morning when he found out that Passepartout was not in the hotel. Mr. Fogg made no comment, but went to the port. There, he learned that the Carnatic had sailed, but his face didn't show any disappointment. At that moment, a gentleman came up to Mr. Fogg and Aouda. It was Mr. Fix. "'Excuse me, sir. You were a passenger from the ship that arrived from Calcutta, weren't you?' "'Yes,' answered Phileas Fogg. "'But, sir, I hoped to find your servant here.' "'So did we,' said Aouda. "'Maybe he has sailed to Japan without us.' "'I wanted to go to Japan, too.' but the ship sailed twelve hours earlier. Now we must wait a week for another ship, said Mr. Fix, and thought, Mr. Fogg will stay in Hong Kong for a week. I will arrest the robber. I think there are other ships in Hong Kong port, said Mr. Fogg in a quiet voice. It wasn't easy to find a ship ready to sail, but the Englishman didn't lose his hope. "'Are you looking for the best boat, sir?' a sailor asked, coming up to the travellers. "'Do you want her for a sea excursion?' "'No, for a voyage. Will you take me to Yokohama? I've missed the ship, and I must be at Yokohama to catch the ship for San Francisco.' "'Yokohama, sir? Sorry, that's impossible. I'll pay you a hundred pounds a day.' and two hundred pounds more if I arrive in time. The sailor wanted to get the money, but the voyage was long and dangerous. Look, sir, said the sailor, I can take you to Shanghai. It will be a safe voyage. But I want to catch the San Francisco ship at Yokohama. You will, sir. She doesn't start from Yokohama. She stops there but she really starts her journey to San Francisco at Shanghai. She leaves Shanghai at seven in the evening on the 11th. That gives us four clear days. If we have the right weather, we can arrive on time, and you will catch the ship. Very well. Are you the captain of the boat? Yes, sir. My name is John Bunsby. Phileas Fogg turned to Mr. Fix. Would you like to join us, sir? The detective agreed, and they decided to be on board in half an hour. Then Mr. Fogg and Aouda went to the police station. There they gave a description of Passepartout and left enough money to send him back to Europe. When they arrived at the port, the boat was ready to start. Mr. Fix was on board, too. Mr. Fogg is very kind to take me on board, but he is a robber. A kind and polite robber indeed, thought the detective, looking carefully around. He was afraid that Passepartout might come to the port. Soon the boat took the wind and flew out into the sea.